So today we are uh, going to be adjusting a catch can that I bought because I have a catch can on my car. Uh, it was made by uh, Dog Speed, <laughs> and it's uh, it's a catch can. Um, it blows all the oil all over the engine bay instead of holding it contained inside its unit. So that's like bad. Um, so we're going to be building this. Da, 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 da. And it's like anodized purple, so it's already superior. But uh, we're gonna add baffles to it so that it makes sure that the oil stays inside instead of all over the engine the, bay. Some of the pass-through uh, setup yeah. we currently have. Yeah, instead of the, the pass-through uh, catch can system, which uh, doesn't really work. Um, <laughs> it's the anti-corrosion. It's the anti-corrosion catch can. Yeah, I'm, spray, I'm like. The spray is anti-corrosion. Yeah, uh, my S13 will never rust, <laughs> which is I'm getting tired of it. <laughs> I love how you go to events with like an extra like gallon of oil because like you know it's just going in and out. I actually like uh, I was like at an event and some dude was like, "Hey, do yo like your car is like leaking something?" And I'm like, "It's just oil, it's fine." And he was like, "What?" <laughs> the least the least desirable thing for anyone else to leak. You're like regular. Don't consider. Yeah, if oil's coming out of it, that means there's oil in it, so we're safe. <laughs> this is what it looks like on the inside. It is currently a barren, empty hole. And the way to make it better is you add baffling so that it traps the oil inside instead of just letting it blow around inside and then come out. What I'm doing right now is measuring the can and I'm writing down my measurements because I will not remember them. Once this thing is on here, uh, we'll say inlet and outlet. So we want a plate that's gonna split them down the middle. So it's gonna have to pass through here down through something else and then back up here. So it's gonna be a cross design where we have one thing in here and then one thing across there. Powasisas. Making in the world is done with dirty fingers. We wait for the it's literally the same thing as doing like uh, transfer paper, but instead of graphite, I'm using finger dirt. And it should fit pretty okay. Look, uh, I cut a slot in this. I'm gonna cut one in this and we're gonna try and stick them together. Alright, so let's see how well they fit together. It's gonna be a little fine tuning on the distance, of course. Or maybe not. We'll see how well it fits. You might just get lucky on the first try. Come on. That is pretty lucky on the first try, I'm not gonna lie. Ding winner. Once it's in there. That's why you have it inset a little bit. Can't go anywhere. It might make like sound like that, but that's all that's gonna happen. That means we'll do big holes on this side, little holes on that side, and this one. It's got the big holes on the inlet side, small holes on the exhaust side, and then everything else uh, in the middle doesn't matter. So perfect. Very little noise. Perfect. That's not gonna. Yeah. There's that amount of movement in it. Ta -da! 
So there you go, you have two options. Uh, if you want a baffled catch can, you can spend $100 on one that has baffles in it, or you could spend like $50,000 on a shop full of equipment and do it yourself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're shopping for things we can't afford. It's got, a lot of house. It's got windows. <laughs> it's got windows? Jesus Christ. Oh shit, thick, thick princess. <laughs> <laughs> Hey girl!